St. Paul Public Schools is a rich mixture of diverse students, dedicated teachers and staff, historic and new buildings, and above all, we are a place where everyone has the same goal, to provide a premier education for all. SPPS serves more than 38,000 students. Half have a home language other than English. More than 70% are eligible for free or reduced price lunch. About 16% require special education services. Our student population is larger than many towns in Minnesota, and our annual budget is more than $731 million. But who pays for everything? Where does the money come from? And how is it spent? Our revenue and expenses must balance. In theory, a balanced budget is very simple. The money coming in needs to equal the money going out. Minnesota's state constitution says that it is the legislature's duty to provide public schools and pay for it through taxation or other means. In fact, most of the money from our schools comes from the state of Minnesota. Some income comes from the U.S. government. This includes the Every Student Succeeds Act money from Uncle Sam. An additional amount of revenue comes from local sources like property taxes, including the operating referendum. Other revenue includes items such as the sale of bonds for capital projects. The money that comes from these sources comes with strings or restrictions on how it is spent. We call this categorical funding. Our district's special education is reimbursed at 50 cents. That means that for every dollar we spend, SBPS is reimbursed only 50 cents. We also receive money dedicated to the needs of each multilingual learner or ML student. So we know where the money comes from, but how is it spent? About one-fifth of our expenses are tied up or committed to long-term construction projects, long-term debts, food service, and community education programs. The remaining 80% is what we call the general fund that pays for the core of K-12 education. Our staff is our biggest resource and our biggest expense. 78% of the general fund goes towards salaries and benefits. Even a small cost of living increase makes a big difference. A smaller amount are fixed costs that keep buildings in operation. Additional money is for purchase services, such as transportation. The remaining 11% is for construction projects, supplies, and other support costs. Our administrative cost is 4% of our budget. This is lower than the state average. For the next school year, our expenses are projected to increase due to inflationary increases in salaries, benefits, supplies, and utilities. SPPS, like many districts across the state, is facing a budget shortfall. We are projecting a $17.2 million shortfall for the 2018-19 school year. How will we bring the budget back into balance? That is the budget challenge SPPS is now working to solve. By June 30th, next year's budget, a balanced budget, will be approved by the Board of Education.